Good morning, Dan from EV Fire Safe. Down here at the Truck Show X in uh, Cape Shank, Victoria. It's not the warmest day down here, but it's great to be having a look at some of these trucks that are down through here as well. So we're gonna step through the different vehicles we've got. We've actually got some hydrogen trucks here as well. Uh, we've got some electric vans, electric trucks. We've got a hybrid diesel electric tow truck to have a look at, um, and a few different makes and models to just to see what's coming out in the market. So this vehicle here is a full battery electric truck. It's the SEA Electric that's off the Hino cab chassis. It's electrified by SEA Electric down in uh, Melbourne in Victoria. Uh, this one can come as a cab chassis with a tray, a tipper, a refrigerated box. It's even actually coming as an elevated work platform base as well. Let's have a look at the battery packs. Uh, so this is the 345 version. Uh, we have a battery pack that's located here uh, centrally in the chassis area, as well as a second pack at the rear of the vehicle. And this vehicle is on the NCAP Rescue app. Let's check out some of the other trucks. Here I've got the Photon battery electric truck. It's a full battery electric. Uh, we have side mounted battery packs down here where our fuel tanks might usually be. And unfortunately this vehicle isn't on the NCAP Rescue app at this stage. So here is the Volvo FL full battery electric truck. Saddle mounted battery packs. And what's great is we've got a little switch just here for emergency responders for isolation. Uh, what's fantastic is that this truck is also on the ANCAP Rescue app. Here's something a little bit different you might not have seen or considered before. So this truck from Hino, it's actually a diesel electric hybrid. This one here is set up as a tow truck and the variant behind is set up as our standard little Pantec freight truck. This ve uh, these vehicles are not actually on ANCAP Rescue app at this okay. stage. This vehicle I've got here is the Aveco E Daily. So it's the electric variant, it's a full battery electric. We do have a number plate with our triangle, which is fantastic. Unfortunately, this vehicle isn't on the NCAP Rescue app at this point. Pretty cool truck I've got here. This is actually a hydrogen fuel cell truck. So converted uh, from a DAF truck by highs on here in Melbourne in Victoria. So it's now got a hydrogen fuel cell and the electric drivetrain. This vehicle is actually on the ANCAP Rescue app, which is really cool. Here I've got the E-Actros from Mercedes-Benz with Daimler. So what we've got is a full battery electric truck. Uh, this one here has the opportunity to be set up as a, as a uh, prime mover, while we've also got an example about to drive past that's set up as a Pantec truck. Great example here of what's coming to market. So Mercedes-Benz have recently had a fantastic opportunity for emergency responders to get in front of their vehicles at their Melbourne facility. That was a really popular event uh, where uh, the emergency responders were able to step through these vehicles with the service technicians uh, that know these vehicles inside and out and go through the emergency response guide procedures. There is an uh, emergency response guide and rescue card available for these vehicles on the ANCAP Rescue app. These two trucks here are actually refrigerated trucks from Revora with Eurocold. So this one here is the Photon electric truck and we also have a Volvo electric truck that have both been purpose made uh, through Eurocold Revora relationship to make these a refrigerated Pantech version. What's important for emergency responders is we may have additional features that are running off the electric systems of these vehicles that are outside of our normal battery pack. That's been a really quick look at the heavy vehicle industry in Australia, specifically looking at the alternative fuel vehicles that are coming to market. So it's been a great two days down here at Cape Shank in Victoria for the Truck Show X. That's been put on by the HVIA. So a huge shout out and thank you to the HVIA team for organizing this event and having EV Fire Safe here to help emergency responders get information out of the trucking sector and how that space can work with emergency responders to help that transition safely for everyone. battery electric hybrid battery electric hybrid